and it's Roberto Clement for the win in a sit and kick race. Running a time of 6.05.85. What's good guys, it's Berto, back with another video. I have so much to update you on, so I'm just gonna get like straight into it. Not gonna waste too much time. So as you can see from the title, I did win a race. I'm gonna circle back to that later, but today was my last track session and my last strength training session. And that is because the LA Marathon is less than two weeks away. So I'm in a taper right now, but I wanna show you a few things that Jerry, Coach J, I appreciate you. He got for me gifts to commemorate my training and all of that good stuff. I did not look at it thoroughly. I see some stuff already, but we're just gonna dig into it. And I'm not gonna take too much time, but yo, this bag is heavy. It's in a food town bag. I can actually reuse this bag, so thank you again, Jerry, for that too. <laughs> First of all, we have a Morton bottle. Yo, the amount of bottles that I need, this is great. I've been seeing a lot of people with the Morton bottles and I've been wanting one myself and I just didn't get it, so that's a great gift right there. And then also we have a GFTC long sleeve shirt. You already know the NYX colors. Yo, this feels pretty like heavy too like good heavy nice material definitely looking forward to throwing this on for the little colder days and yeah and if you did not know that's my running team gftc goldfinger track club next we have a pioneer's hat check this out this baby blue pioneer's hat this is so dope yo i can always use hats i can always always use hats if you did not know about pioneer's pioneer's is the first and only black owned running performance athletic wear company in the United States, so that's awesome. This is definitely a nice hat. I'm looking forward to taking this out on a run as well. Ooh, we got some Pioneer socks too. Ooh, got the Pioneer socks, black, black and white. Oh shoot, okay, gotta open some packages. Bear with me. Another Pioneer's package, all right. What? Look at that color. Yo, I was looking at this one too. Oh, bro. Nah, this is fire. Nah, man. This is definitely going to get worn a lot. So, another Pioneers package. Pioneers. Yo, we have a Pioneers, like, zip up, like, hoodie type thing. Yo, nah. Nah. Yo, Jerry. Pfft. You the man, bro. You are the man. Yo, this feels mad comfortable. Like, the material feels so nice. I'm gonna have to try this stuff on. I'm not gonna do it in this video, but like, you will definitely see me wearing this, like, for sure. Got another Pioneers package. Yeah. I'm definitely a tight guy now. Look at the tights. Got the Pioneers logo in the back. Woo! Yeah, I feel good. I feel I feel very good about these. Definitely gonna get some great use out of it. Look at the details though. Like the details. It's all in the details. A note from Pioneers. Berto, we heard you are running LA Marathon, so we gotta drip you out post-race. Style wins it all. Best of luck. Enjoy the gear, Jerry. Yo, I appreciate you. Look at that. Yo, support by Pioneers. Yo, this is dope. This is dope. Yeah, this is gonna... Nah, man. I'm gonna I'm I'm look good. I'm gonna look good out there. And then also, I can always use some Martin gels. <laughs> got some Martin gels. And then also, we got these today too, me and the team. So, yeah, I'm interested in trying these out too. Cherry Bundy. This is like to help with recovery. And this one is to help with like sleep as well. And they both are vegan friendly. So, yeah, man. Jerry, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Pioneers, I appreciate you. My team, I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody, yo. This is gonna be a great race. Anyway, all right, next, next. I do have another package. I have a package from Gooder. These are the glasses that I use from Gooder, usually. And have another package right here. There you go. I don't wanna show my address on there, so we're gonna open it this way. Bam, and bam. All right, this one, let's open this one first. Love the little pouch that it comes in too. Flamingos on there. Oh, yeah, 
Yo, look at that. I gotta try it on. I'm, I'm very specific about like glasses fitting on my face. I mean, as a lot of people are, there's certain glasses that I cannot wear, but let's see how this one looks. Yeah, nah, I'm pulling these off. Yeah, definitely. Yo, nah, yeah. I think I'm, I'm racing in these ones. I think these are gonna be the, the race ones. And let's see the other one. This is from Zero to Blitz. This feels like just an unboxing video, but there's more to it. Oh, look at these ones too. Yo, nah, this might be the one. Nah. All right, yo. All right, all right, all right, all right. That one, that one. Yo, this looks sick. All right, and... Oh. <laughs> Some decisions have to be made, but can't go wrong with either of them. Can't go wrong with either of them. I'm not complaining about that. Freaking, yo, I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. All right, let me put on my regular glasses. I'm so grateful because like, I don't know. I just appreciate everything. I appreciate gifts. Uh, I'm not like the hugest person with like receiving gifts, but I think it's because I just don't really expect that much. But I, I do truly appreciate it. Like, I don't know. I, I feel very special right now. Let's just say that. All right, let's talk about the race. So I went to the Armory, which I've been to one time before recently with my team. It was pretty cool. The Armory is a track in Washington Heights where a lot of people go to compete and whatnot. You get a lot of students there, a lot of professional athletes. It's just a really dope place. So they had an event, which was, I think a few weeks in collaboration with the New York Road Runners and the Armory and Nike, where it's like you can race like normies like me, <laughs> like non-professional athletes could like race against each other. You just like put in your time. And this is a mile race. They also did a relay, but I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. But I entered to do the mile race. So I put my time at 620, a 620 mile. And the reason why I put a 620 is because I've run a 617, that was like my PR, and that wasn't really me trying, that was just me just like running. And this was gonna be my first mile race, so I was just like, all right, let me just put a time where I'm not gonna get lapped, but it's gonna be like, you know, maybe a little difficult for me. So I entered that time. And originally I was questioning if I should do this because literally two days before, I ran 20 miles. And this is 20 miles in, the snow in Prospect Park, a lot of elevation. The snow was very nasty that day. And I did not run in fast shoes for that run. So my legs definitely took a beating that day. And the race was on Monday. So that's just two days. So you were supposed to be there at like 7 p.m. And I planned to get there a little bit earlier, maybe like 6, 15, 6, 30-ish. Just so I wouldn't be like rushing or anything like that. But unfortunately, the trains were all messed up. So I got so stressed on the train because I was like, I'm gonna be late. Like, I don't feel like I'm gonna have any time to actually warm up or anything like that. I'm gonna have to get off the train, run to the armory, and then just run. But fortunately, that wasn't the case. It did take a while for me to like calm myself down because I was stressed. My legs like standing up in a train, like I felt like all of the blood and tension was just like there in my legs. So I kept having to stretch out. But there were so many people racing. And by the time I was supposed to race, like I think I was in the 10th group. Yeah, 10th group, 11th position. Yeah, 10th group. So there was time before I personally had to run. So I did take my time. I was able to adjust, calm down, breathe a little bit, stretch, do all that good stuff. So I watched some of my teammates compete in a mile like before me and it was dope to see. It was very like motivating and inspiring just to see all of my teammates just crush it, push themselves so hard and just go for the win. So like by the time it was my time, I was just like, all right, I'm ready for this, I'm ready for this. So once we started, I was able to get into second place pretty easily. It didn't take me much time at all. I was just like, all right, let me settle behind this woman right here. So she was running and I was behind her for the most part and I was just like chilling. But the first lap, it made me realize that it was pretty hard to breathe in the armory. Like the air felt so dry and I had like a head high. It was so weird, but I was just like, all right, I'm running at this pace already, let me like, 
slow myself down for the next few laps, but not slow myself down too significantly. Like I wanted to just like, you know, settle in. So in lap four, that's when I started feeling like a couple people were like directly behind me. I was just like, all right, you know, stay at your own pace. Like don't don't go too fast. You know what you've done, like you know how to do this. You know how to race this. Even though this is my first mile race, I know what I'm capable of doing towards the end of a race or the end of a run. Lap four passes and then lap five, that's when two more people get in front of me. And I was just like, all right, cool. Let them get in front of you. Don't stress out, just settle in behind them. This is not the time to pull the trigger. This is, you still have some time to go. So that's lap five and I'm hearing how hard other people are breathing and stuff like that. I'm just like, all right, I'm calm. Like I'm chilling. Like it's hard, but it's not extremely hard. Like I can maintain this. So the next few laps passed, I was settled in behind them. But then once we hit that last lap, I was like, all right, I have to make a decision here. So once I heard the bell, I was debating if I should wait until like I get around the curb to actually like go faster. And I had a moment where I was just like, wait, like in my head, but then the other side, like I guess the angel <laughs> was telling me, no, go, go now. So then I just sped up and I was just like, all right, go, go, go. Because I didn't want to do it too, too early because I didn't want to alert the other runners that I was speeding up and then like it turns into like a one, versus one person race where I'm just like dying. But I was able to get around that turn and then the straightaway and then like the next turns with a good amount of distance between me and the other runners. So I ended up winning my heat with the 605.85 mile PR. And once I passed the line, I was questioning if that was the last lap. So I did a quick like turn around to make sure that the other runners were stopping because I was like, Damn, if I gotta run another lap, that's gonna be a little annoying, but I wanted to make sure because you never know. Some people get confused whether they're on their last lap or if they have another one left, but thankfully that was my last lap. So for this race, no medal, but I have my bib. This is my bib right here, and I will definitely cherish this forever. My first mile race and the first race that I've ever won. So, you know, I'm happy about that. Definitely a good experience. And my teammates, they ran the relay after. And I was debating if I should run the relay race, but to be honest, I think the risk of injury was too high for me. My legs were already exhausted from that 20 miler on Saturday. I ran this race pretty hard. I do not have health insurance right now. LA Marathon is coming up. There's too much risk for me to run that relay. And I know myself, I would have ran it really hard and I don't think it would have ended up well for me. But it was great to see my teammates perform and next year I definitely wanna do the relay because I did feel bad that I wasn't a part of it, but maybe next time, we'll see, we'll see. But besides that, training has been going pretty well. I've been pretty consistent with doing hill repeats, doing my long runs where I'm getting a good amount of elevation because LA is gonna be hilly. My peak week mileage was 60 miles. I hit two weeks of 60 miles, which was also dope. I think when I ran New York City, my peak week was 50 miles, so increased it by a little a little bit, 10 miles. And I'm officially in a taper where, you know, we're bringing back the mileage and then eventually the intensity and whatnot. So last week was 54 miles. This week is 42 miles. And next week will be 24 miles. And that's the last week before the LA Marathon. My longest run was 22 miles in Prospect Park. That gave me the confidence that I need. I had an 814 average mile pace and I negative split that run, which is going faster in the second half versus the first half. So that was 22 miles. And I think over the course of 26 miles, I will be able to hit that eight minute per mile average pace, which will leave me at a 330-ish marathon. That's my goal, that's my goal. And if you recall with the New York City Marathon, that was definitely a positive split race. I ran too fast in the beginning, tried to slow myself down, and by then it was, it was too much. It was a lot going on, but positive splits haunt me. I do not want any positive splits. We're negative splitting LA. And I ran eight miles on Monday, which gave me another boost of confidence. Eight miles, that average was a 745 average pace. 
And I don't often go below eight minutes when I'm doing these runs, especially when they're like a little bit longer. So averaging 745 for these eight miles was pretty dope for me. And I negative split that as well. And I had track today at 6.15 a.m. as usual. And yo, I was hitting those paces. I felt very comfortable. I felt so comfortable. Even with the faster paces, like it felt comfortably hard. So that gave me even more confidence. So between my long run, my eight miles on Monday, and then today's track session, which was also followed by my last strength training session, that gave me the confidence that I needed to be like, all right, you can actually do this. So now we're 11 days, 11 days away from that LA marathon. And I'm gonna give it my all. The weather is not looking very friendly, but I don't care. I'm still gonna do what I came there to do. And if I'm not able to do what I came there to do, I'm gonna eventually get it. What can you do? You control the things that you can control and then everything else, you just do what you can. Anyway, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate all the support, like for real. Like I really appreciate the support, the likes, the comments, all of that stuff. I know a lot of people get on here and they just, you know, they think about the numbers. I know that you are individuals behind those screens and I just wanna say thank you for supporting me and all of my endeavors, especially my fitness endeavors because those are my favorite. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. I would appreciate it if you like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also leave me comments. If you're interested in following me on Instagram and TikTok, I'll <clears throat> I'll leave that in the description below. And until next time, peace. Bye.